Navicular is one word that encompasses a lot of different problems. We're at Root and Riddle Equine Hospital's Podiatry Center where Dr. Vern Dryden will tell us more. What is navicular? Navicular is a term where it can encompass a lot of different structures. We like, nowadays we like to talk about it as navicular syndrome where it can include the navicular bone, the navicular bursa, the ligaments of the navicular bone such as the spencer ligament and the impar ligament and it can also include the digital portion of the deep digital flexor tendon. So there's a lot of things that can go into a horse with navicular as to why they're having pain. Um, so the old, the old term navicular used to just be focused on lesions in the bone and those lesions being radiographically visible. Well, nowadays we know that a lot of things are soft tissue and we can't see them on radiographs. So we have to look at other things for diagnosing and, and MRI has become the gold standard for, for finding those lesions. Um, a, a navicular syndrome horse will present shifting, standing, shifting weight. Um, they'll shuffle when they trot in a straight line. They'll be observably lame um, on the foot in the direction that they're circling to. Um, that's a typical uh, horse with navicular. They also land toe first, so they don't want to put their heels down. Uh, when they hoof test, they'll be sore over the heels, across the heels, and sometimes over the frog as well. So that's a, a typical presentation for a navicular syndrome horse. Um, treatment options include uh, joint injections. So you can inject either the coffin joint or the navicular bursa. Um, also, shoeing takes up a huge part of treatment for these horses because um, it's necessary to get the breakover point back underneath the toe so that they're not stressing those structures in the back half of the foot when they break over. Some horses benefit from having um, cushion, so a lot of concussive forces can, can cause pain to these horses, so applying a, a soft pad or a pouring pad can help them as well. Uh, other, other types of shoeing that will help them is uh, preventing, preventing overextension when they load. Um, and that will decrease the, the tension on the structures in the back half of the foot. So if you place like a, a bar or the egg bar works because it prevents that horse from, from overextending. And that can help with flotation in that respect. So shoeing I think is probably 50% of it. Medical management is another, you know, 40% of it, and then just the, the exercise of the horse. These, a lot of navicular horses don't like to be just put in a stall and then worked. They get really sore after that. So you have to manage these guys with uh, um, you know, exercise on a regular basis, not high intensity exercise, but low intensity exercise on a regular basis. Where can horse owners learn more? Um, talking to your local vet, is a very, very good thing to do. Um, there's a lot of information on websites such as the horse. Um, you can go to uh, seminars. The AAP uh, has seminars all over the place for, for horse owners. So those are some, some key things to go to. Thank you very much. Yeah.